ցուցյան եւ ծանր բահերին քեզեմ հիշում դույն վահանես իսկ ես քովեկան հաթանակի I'm so glad to be here with you today to share these few moments together to share this message with you. Let's do as we always do by beginning our show proclaiming our faith in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I start every show in that way because it's very important to proclaim faith, to proclaim who we are. This is part and parcel of well our persons, right? We are here. We are made up of different compositions of different um, different factors that come into our lives and religion definitely is part of our lives and that's why we have this show Armenian Christianity today. It's not something that exists in the museum. It's not something that comes to us from far ago and has no relevance to us. It is part and parcel of who we are. In fact, Saint Vartan Mamigonian, the great saint of the Armenian Church, said it so beautifully. What do you think? This is like a shirt that we can just put on one day and then take off the next day and it's all of a sudden gone. No, it's part and parcel of who we are. I say this as a preface because in today's episode I'd like to address an issue that is probably very prevalent you see it and you hear about it political correctness and I think uh, it's even more accented in my life because this past week an episode happened that I want to share with you me as you know we're involved in dative outreach it is a program that addresses the, the one of the greatest tragedies in our communities and that's domestic violence and this October being domestic violence awareness, Awareness Month. We were invited to the city of Glendale to the Commission on the Status of Women to make a presentation on dative outreach, and of course, uh, the dative outreach reaches out. It's dative to give wings. It reaches out and gives wings to women. It gives wings to families to help them up. And the city of Glendale very nicely invited us to come and share that message with the city, and. Um, As, as you know, this is a, a church-based organization that our Sirpazan Archbishop uh, Hovnan Derderian has put his stamp on it and not only has adopted it, but has said, here, here's the space, here's the resources, come and help. And so it's a beautiful program. And so in preparation to make this, we, we, we went to the city in preparation for it. We put together a presentation with electronic slides. We were ready to present it and it was going on the TV. So right at 5.30 as the countdown clock began and the camera started rolling, guess what? The city attorney came to me and said, you know, Father, and she's whispering it to me as the show is beginning, as all of Glendale's watching and uh, we're getting ready to talk. I like you know the pressure's on right now so let's see if we can uh, <laughs> we we can put add some more pressure she says you know father did anyone brief you about what you're going to talk about today I says no but you've got our slides you know what we're going to be talking she says well you can talk about anything you want you can even say the word god but you cannot say the word jesus christ you cannot invoke the name of a trinity i said what hey yeah, I'm, a, i'm a priest i'm a priest of christ i i can't talk about who I am. Uh, the, the shirt, St. Vartan, just take it off. And I says, I, I'm sorry, I'm a, been a priest 30 years. Uh, what you? And she goes, uh, no, you cannot name. I says, stop. I said, I know my rights. I know what I'm doing over here. I've been a priest. I, I've sat at enough of these things. And she kept on hitting me. Right then they called my name, so I went up and I gave a presentation along with one of the members of my board. We gave a beautiful presentation about what Dativ does. And of course, there was, there was references to the church, about the sanctity of the church, the importance of the church within that context, not outside. This is not a question of proselytizing. This is not getting up and saying, you know, we are Christians and you are not good for us, good, bad for you. <laughs> This doesn't even, doesn't even occur in such an environment. And yet I was cautioned on this. After the presentation, it was about a 15-minute presentation, and I invite you to go to dativeoutreach.org. You can see the video of it. You see that it's just basically information. Uh, after that presentation, as we were leaving, the city attorney comes to me again and says, you know, there's been a misunderstanding. That was a wonderful presentation, but we want you to know what we were talking about. I said, there's nothing to talk about. And she kept on ragging on it. She kept on telling me, 
She kept on saying that, no, you cannot name. And you know, you get to a point where you start losing respect even for the person there. So I wanted to share this with you. I wanted to share some of the basic ideas. And there's two big messages that come out of this. First of all, what is our right as Christians here? You see, what I told her, and I want you to remember this, as a city attorney, she has every right in the world to protect the interests, in fact, not only the right, that's what she's paid for, to protect the interests of the city, the city of Glendale, city of Burbank, Los Angeles. That's what a city attorney does, okay? No question about that. Now, as a city attorney, she cannot come and tell us as individuals what we can say or what we can't. That is guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States of America. In fact, even more basic than that, it's the first thing that you learn in Constitution 101. It's the most basic of all freedoms that we have, the freedom of expression. In fact, it is the basis for the separation of church and state. That is the reason why the pilgrims came to America, established the United States of America, to a couple hundred years after the arrival of the pilgrims. Remember, it was the, those inalienable rights and that there was no government that could tell you what you could believe. They came over to, to, to escape that kind of, uh, uh, th that crown that was telling them what they could believe or what they couldn't. You were free to believe what you want over here. So no government agent can tell you what you can believe or what you cannot believe. That is the beauty of the United States of America and our Constitution. Now, granted, there are problems with that. There's difficulties in freedoms. That means anybody can come up and anybody can say anything that they want. And that, that's really one of the tragedies that, unfortunately, as Christians, we get lumped in with everybody who's talking out there. Okay, that's something we need to accept. And that's the second message that I have. If the first message is that we have those rights, the second message is not to abuse those rights. In other words, let's make Christianity the real religion that it is. And that's what we try to do. That's why I talk to you every week, Christianity Today, making it real. And the Armenian Church, which has a 2,000 year tradition, which is apostolic, which comes from the time of the apostles, is the messenger of that Christianity for us. You say, in what way? Well, the tradition that we bring is not a tradition about standing up and saying, we are better than anyone else. It's not a tradition of saying that Christ is here and if you don't believe, you cannot uh, be, be privy to these beautiful things. No, the Christian message delivered to us by the Armenian church is one of living the faith and becoming the examples that Christ wants us to be. So that people seeing us will say, hey, why does that work? So when you look at Dativ Outreach and you say that, hey, here's a group of people based on their faith in Jesus Christ, reaching out their arms, they say, that is what the Christian message is. That is what Christ is all about. And in seeing that example, they are awakened to the knowledge of Christ. As one of the great saints once said, he says, preach the gospel always, and when necessary, use words. In other words, we can use a lot of words, but what's most important is that we live it out. And that's why Jesus said very clearly, he says at the end, he says, I will come to you and I'll say, come to me, my blessed ones, because I was hungry and you, you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. And when people say, when did we see Jesus naked? When did we see him hungry or thirsty? Jesus said, when you do it to the least of my brothers, you do it to me. In other words, it's the call to action, implementing that faith. So the two messages that I have for you today is, first of all, to understand as a Christian, you have the right to proclaim that faith. I'm not saying to go out there and proclaim it without backing. That's the second message. Make a backing for your faith. In other words, live the faith in all that you do. The United States of America is based on many, many uh, ideas of freedom. Some of them can be, well, some of them can be disturbing to people. But when you look at them, you understand that it is the best possible solution of being able to share the, the beauty that God has placed in our hearts. You see, as Christians, we are called to the call of love. And so if you can share that love, you have shared Christianity. 
This is one of the beautiful secrets that St. Nerses Schnorhali talks about. He says, the name of love is Jesus. In other words, if Jesus is love, then we understand the only way to the Father, the only way to eternal happiness is through love, right? Very basic. And that's what we have as Armenian Christians, this knowledge, this very basic, basic uh, understanding of love and God. St. John the Evangelist in one of his letters says, God is love. You cannot love, you, you cannot love God unless you love your, your neighbor. And you have to implement that love. You have to put that love into action. It's not enough to say, I love God, but you have to love your neighbor. You have to be at peace with your neighbor. And that's the call that we've been given. So in terms of being able to say we are Christian, in terms of being able to get out and say Christians, don't ever feel that anybody, and let, don't let anybody ever intimidate you from saying the words Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the incarnation of love. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life because love is the way, the truth, and the life. It's very easy. It's a no-brainer. It's so easy. But what's important for us is never to get caught up in that political drama that people play out, saying political correctness. No, I am a Christian. In fact, as Armenian Christians, we pronounce that all the time. As basic as the cross that we make across our body, that is our proclamation of the faith. I am a Christian. I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I say, Amen. Let it be in my life. And it becomes in my life by the things that I do. Don't let anybody ever tell you anything otherwise. You have that freedom to express your faith. Take advantage of the freedom and do not abuse it by being the ambassador of Christ here on earth, by being the ambassador of love in all that you do. And you'll see that God's blessings shine within you. May God bless you all. I look forward to seeing you next week and when we will explore Armenian Christianity today further. Reminding you, let us always give praise and glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.